Recording ten point three. We just don't have enough spaces for everyone. We need the spaces for managers and customers who visit us. Sorry, Tracy, but that's it. Well, you'll have to think again. Our staff arrive early. They need somewhere to park. Look, Tracy, I understand what you're saying, but it just isn't possible anymore. <laughs> well, that's a typical management attitude. The staff are not going to accept it. I warn you, Tom. This could lead to a strike. Oh, come on, Tracy. You know we've got a parking problem. We've got to do something about it. Okay. How about this? What if we keep five spaces for staff, and it's first come, first served? Sorry, that isn't good enough. It's not a solution to the parking problem, and you know it. There is another possibility. How about if the staff park their cars in the car park near the station? Some of them do that already, but they have to pay quite a bit, you know. The cost goes up every six months. You can't expect everyone to do that, surely. Okay, Tracy. What if we could help towards the cost? We might be able to pay, say, thirty percent. Yes, it's worth considering. It might help. Right. I'll discuss this proposal at the next board meeting. Staff will park in the public car park, and we'll contribute thirty percent towards the cost. Fine. That's it then.